Look how beautiful this place is. This hidden gem may not be as widely recognized as some of the other more popular destinations here on the Yorkshire coast, but don't be mistaken. It has a wonderful blend of Victorian charm, picturesque coastal views, and apparently some pretty amazing food. So come along with us as we explore what we think just might be England's best kept secret, Saltburn by the Sea. If you come to a seaside town, you probably have to start at the sea. I think that's fair. <laughs> we are going to make our way down there to be right by the seaside. And we're going to make that trip down to the sea in a pretty cool fashion, which is the oldest water balanced cliff lift in all the UK. When we were reading about that online, I was kind of confused about that. I've never heard that term before, but apparently it means that the two trams each have water tanks underneath them, and the weight of those water tanks is what moved the tram up and down the cliff. So pretty interesting. I love that it has stained glass windows and that the stained glass windows have seagulls on it. They just gave us the romantic special. We've got just, us. just the two of us. I mean, three, I guess. <laughs> You can hear the water running into like the reserve or whatever that weighs it down. Yeah, so interesting. What a lovely experience. Yeah, that's fun. <laughs> Carly didn't love it, but no. we liked it. <laughs> I do enjoy that it was just the two of us in a romantic tram by ourselves, but there is a line to go back up the hill. <laughs> Good choice, guys. Good choice. <laughs> the gentleman at the top said that he designed these, so we decided to buy ourselves some badges. Where do you want to start? You want to start at the pier? Yeah, let's check out the pier. This pier first opened in 1869, which is just incredible. Apparently it's made from local iron, and it is the last pleasure pier uh, left here on the Yorkshire coast. So just a lovely little gem. So it's not that little, it goes out pretty far. <laughs> the tide is definitely out. We came down here last night when we got into town and uh, Carly didn't love the waves crashing underneath her, but she seems okay with it now that there is an ocean happening below. Just a lovely sandy beach, beautiful blue water. There aren't a lot of places that rival the Yorkshire coast. No, pretty beautiful. It's just amazing how low key this really is. Like it's a nice, turning out to be a lovely day and there aren't a ton of people here for being peak summer even the end of the pier there's only a handful of us here it's just truly feels like we're on to like a little secret place that not a lot of people know about uh, except surfers we've seen tons and tons of people surfing since we've gotten here apparently it's a popular surfing spot on the pier there is a little arcade and we found out it was dog friendly so we thought why not we'll go in Oh, you got us enough coins to have some fun for a while. Leave it to Jeremy to find the Simpsons donut days. <laughs> Ooh, almost. Oh, oh, oh. Look at all those winnings. Let's take them by a fancy lunch. I'm gonna pop some dinos. I like that it makes dolphin noises. <laughs> it does, it's making weird noises. <laughs> Is that it? Yeah. Apparently. Oh, 370. I don't know what that means. 14 tickets, huh? Big spender over here. We're gonna get something fancy. <laughs> Seven tickets. We did good, kind of. There's a sign that says once you choose your prize, you can't exchange it. So no take backs, Jeremy. No take backs. <laughs> I have to be honest, I was kind of hoping for some Parma Violets. What a 
fun place. I think that was our first time we've been to an arcade like this and played things here in the UK. And it's different that they have actual coins, like they're all 2P coins in the coin pushers. I don't know if that's normal here, but that is not how we do it in the US. You get like tokens and they don't spit them back out to you because they want you to keep using your money. So that was like a fun little while that we got to play on like a pound. A pound yeah. <laughs> you know, we got these that probably are like 30 or 40p all together, but still we got to play for 20 minutes besides that. <laughs> to a viewer Janine who said she just had lunch at the Tomahawk here and said it was very good. So that is an option with some good views of the sea. However, I think Jeremy and I are both really set on having some fish and chips at a nice little chip shop by the ocean. So we have come to Sea View Fish and Chips. Apparently they're award winning. There's a sign that says so. <laughs> Now, if that isn't a set of fish and chips, I don't know what is. We've had fish and chips near the sea. This is the first time we've actually sat seaside yeah. and had fish and chips from a takeaway right on the seaside. That were like six feet from the sand. I loaded mine up with some, uh, some vinegar. Jeremy's got a side of curry sauce for his. I think we're set. I ate a chip. <laughs> you cheated. <laughs> we're very much teasing Carly right now. <laughs> this is like eye level food for her. <laughs> Some good looking curry sauce. Mm -hmm. What a lovely experience. Just such fresh, succulent fish. And then that batter is nice and crispy. It's one of the better fish and chips that we've had. And that's probably because it's by the seaside. I can always tell we're having a good meal when we're just sitting in silence while we eat. I mean, we have a nice view too, but it's a pretty good fish and chips. <laughs> that was really good. And I think we lucked out because as soon as we were done, the seagulls started gathering around the area we were sitting. So, timed well for us. Well, I guess we should go wander the, the beach and find out why it is a good bathing beach. Yeah, let's see. <laughs> Saltburn achieved the Seaside Award for the 2023 bathing season. Don't know what that means. It's like a good beach spot, I guess. I guess, yeah. <laughs> There's a lot of good sand on this beach. That maybe sounded a little sarcastic, but it's not. This is actually some really nice sand. I think as Americans, we are not used to how many pebble beaches there are here in the UK, but this one, I mean, there are some rocks around, which makes sense because it is uh, supposed to be a really good fossil hunting spot. We didn't even know that until we were up at the top and saw an area called the Fossil Garden and it had ammonite art in it. Um, and we were like, oh, there's fossils here? And yeah, turns out there are fossils here. The tide is on its way back in, but since it is out, we're gonna just take a little bit of time to wander through the, uh, some of the rocky areas and just see if we can find any belemnites or ammonites. I mean, if those cliffs over there don't look like fossil cliffs, I don't know what they are. What do you think, Doodlebone? You finding any good ones? It is wild to think that millions of years ago, this was an underwater tropical area. It is pretty weird. Now it's a lovely spot to have a beach day on the Yorkshire coast. The weather looks kind of imposing right now. Yeah, Maybe we should does. not do as much beach wandering anymore. <laughs> It did start to rain, so we decided to take the tram back up to the top. And of course, now that we're up here, it's very pretty again. Well, I say let's go wander around town. What do you think, Doodlebone? Undecided. Since we got into town a few days ago, we've been walking around the the seaside area. This is the first time I've actually really wandered town and it is so lovely here. There's just all kinds of cute shops. Look at this old fashioned candy shop that has old adverts up there. And it's right next to a very cute independent bookshop. I've been going back and forth to the Sainsbury's. It's just behind where Kara's standing right now and I knew she would like this street. It is, it's lovely. Everything about today has reminded me of our trip to the coast back home in the US in Washington state that we did several months ago now. But basically it was about how we love the UK because it feels like home. And I think today was that quintessential seaside town kind of visit. And the fact that there's here a place called the Goondocks, which I, I can only assume is a Goonies reference. And the Goonies was filmed where we made that video. So. 
just a lot of coincidences happening today. Wouldn't you agree? Yeah. It's pretty weird. <laughs> we just found the best shop here. It is a shop called Bunkers. It has a lot of stuff, but it seems to have a lot of garden art. And not just garden art, like really silly, kind of ridiculous stuff that I want to now have a garden full of silly garden art. And the coolest thing, the biggest souvenir I've ever wanted from the UK, a George Michael chair. <laughs> and it was perfect because they had two chairs next to us for both of us. They did. There was George Michael for you and there was a David Bowie right next to it for me. It was a wonderful pairing. We have come to the Alexandra Vaults, a very cool pub that the locals refer to as the Back Alex, probably because it used to be in the back of the Alexandra Hotel, although the hotel is now apartments. It's very cool in here though. It has great vibes. I would definitely describe it as one of those uh, backstreet boozers where it's just like low-key, chill, kind of kitschy decor. They even have a little cinema area that has movie memorabilia and little well, Charlie Chaplin statues. And they have Violet Gin, uh, so it's a win for me automatically. <laughs> I just really love Parma Violet Gins. They're just the best, in my opinion. <laughs> and you've got a Carling Dark Fruit Cider. And like so many bars that we've come across in the UK, they're playing good tunes in here too. Yeah, we have happened across a number of bars where they were playing Squeeze while we are there. This and is I'm now okay one of them, that. yeah. <laughs> the tide is definitely on the way back in and the surfers are out this afternoon. We ended up in Saltburn by chance. We were just looking for a place by the coast that was affordable, that we could spend a week here and just relax. And what we have found has been so much more. It is a lovely Victorian seaside town full of so much charm and history. And I highly recommend checking it out, especially if you were doing like a Yorkshire coast tour, you could, you could hit several stops and this could be one of them, but definitely don't miss it. Thank you for coming along and checking out Saltburn with us. Thank you to our patrons for always supporting our channel. And I think you should check out our video where we go to Whitby and we see some things about Dracula right over here.